New advancements in firmware can improve the reliability and the playability of your synth. Hi, my name is John from Moog Technical Support, and today we're going to be performing a firmware update on the Moog Grandmother. Connect a USB cable from your grandmother to your computer. Open your Sysix librarian of choice. This could be Sysix librarian for Mac, or Bohm Send SX for PC. Select the grandmother as your MIDI device in the settings of the software. In Sysix Librarian, the grandmother will appear in the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. For Bohm Send SX, go to the MIDI out and select Grandmother from the choices provided. Select the Sysix file Grandmother Firmware Invalidate. Click Send. On the grandmother, the Arpray LED will start blinking red-green. In the Sysix Sending software, reselect Grandmother as your MIDI output device. Select the Sysix file Grandmother Firmware Erase. Click Send. On the grandmother, the Arpray LED will blink red three times and then blink green steadily. Select the new firmware file. Click Send. The grandmother Arpray LED will blink yellow-orange when receiving. Finally, the grandmother will reboot to the new firmware. If the Arpray LED is still blinking yellow-orange after the firmware has finished sending, or if the Arpray LED stops blinking and the unit does not reboot automatically once the firmware has finished sending, you should try again. Turn the grandmother power off and on again. Disconnect and reconnect the USB cable and then start over from step one. You can try as many times as necessary. It will not hurt the hardware. If it doesn't work after two or three tries, you should contact Mo Technical Support for further assistance.